George Jones was more than just a country singer. He was a cornerstone of country music, renowned for timeless hits like He Stopped Loving Her Today, White Lightning, and Choices. With a career that spanned decades, he was a particularly dominant force from the 1950s to the 1980s. Today, we're exploring the complex life and enduring legacy of George Jones. Facts First presents, George Jones died 10 years ago, now his wife confirms the truth. George and Nancy, soulmates. In the world of country music, the marriage of George Jones and Nancy Sepulveda is the kind of stuff legends are made of. The couple first crossed paths on a blind date in November of 1981. At the time, George had already been through three marriages with Dorothy Bonvillon, Shirley Ann Corley, and the renowned Tammy Wynette, whom he divorced in 1975. But when he met Nancy, things changed. In his 1996 autobiography, I Live to Tell It All, Jones openly stated that no teenage boy ever fell harder for a girl than he did for Nancy. He even went on to say she later saved his life. The couple tied the knot on March 4, 1983, at George's sister's home, Helen Scroggins, in Woodville, Texas. Though George had a reputation for a troubled life marred by addiction, earning him the nickname No Show Jones, Nancy saw the man behind the myths. She was aware of his past, but wasn't deterred by it. Nancy once mentioned that while she'd heard all the horror stories about George, she chose to hold her judgment until she saw things for herself. And she did, both the good and the bad. What set their marriage apart was the transformative power of the relationship. George had struggled with addiction for years, affecting his personal life and career. But it was Nancy's love and support that ultimately helped him turn a corner. In George's own words, friends, family, doctors, therapists, and ministers had tried to save him but failed. It was the love from Nancy that finally made the difference. The couple didn't have children together, but their bond was so strong that George often referred to Nancy as his soulmate. Their wedding celebration was as down-to-earth as they were. A dinner at Burger King was all they needed to toast their nuptials. George passed away April 26, 2013. True to her unwavering love and commemorating his legacy, Nancy placed a monument at his grave in Nashville's Woodlawn Cemetery with the inscription, quote, he stopped loving her today, a touching nod to one of his most famous songs. Nancy's Startling Revelations When it comes to George Jones, it's not just his music that left a mark. It's also his tumultuous life journey. His wife Nancy dives deep into their years together in her new memoir, Playin' Possum. The book reveals more than just the life of a country music legend. It explores his long fight against addiction and how he turned his life around. In 1999, Jones was in a severe car accident that almost took his life. Talking to his stepdaughter while driving, he lost control and crashed into a concrete bridge. It took more than two hours for rescue crews to get him out of the wreckage. He was severely injured, and on the helicopter ride to the hospital, he flatlined twice. But as Nancy recalls, it wasn't his time to go. He lived another 14 years, passing away in 2013. Nancy's book is far from a sugar-coated look at their marriage. She speaks candidly about George's struggles with addiction, which affected not only his career but also their personal life. George was often a no-show at his own concerts, which led to a flood of lawsuits. At home, he was a different person when under the influence. Nancy describes how she had to fend off drug dealers from their property and how there were times she feared for their lives. Despite his challenges, George was committed to changing. After his near-fatal accident, he made a promise to God and Nancy he would never drink or smoke again. And he kept that promise. According to Nancy, that was a pivotal moment. From then on, he became a perfect husband and lived a life focused on faith and sobriety. Where is Nancy Sepulveda Jones today? Since the death of George Jones, Nancy has been out of the public eye for the most part. But she did undergo an eye operation in 2017 to correct vision loss in her left eye, a fact shared on George's official Facebook account. She's remained protective of her late husband's legacy, even speaking out against a Nashville mural in 2019 that she felt misrepresented George. As for his fortune, his net worth at the time of his death was estimated at around $35 million. Nancy inherited a large portion of this, including their home in Franklin, Tennessee, as well as additional properties in Brentwood and Nashville. 
She also inherited George's car, jewelry, and musical instruments. Today, it's believed she resides in Woodville, Texas. Though she keeps a low profile, when she does make public statements, it's usually to preserve the legacy and dignity of her late husband. The Rocky Road of George and Tammy's Marriage George Jones and Tammy Wynette had a marriage that began with sparks but soon turned tumultuous. The couple was together for about six years, but their relationship was anything but smooth sailing. At first, it seemed like a match made in heaven, two country music legends tying the knot. But beneath the surface, there were issues that were hard to ignore. Why was the marriage so rough? A cocktail of professional jealousy, differing priorities, and George's well-known struggles with substance abuse made the relationship incredibly rocky. Even though it started strong, it was apparent these issues were creating an unstable foundation. When it came to an end, the divorce was as dramatic as the marriage itself. And it wasn't just the end of a relationship, it was the end of an era in country music. The couple who had once captivated audiences with their harmonies and love songs were now singing different tunes. After the divorce, Tammy Wynette moved on with her life, continuing her career as a country music artist. She also remarried, though those marriages too had their share of ups and downs. Nonetheless, Tammy remained an iconic figure in country music until her death in 1998. A legend despite his imperfections It's true that George Jones had his share of ups and downs in life, especially when it came to love and vices, but that doesn't overshadow his legendary status in the world of country music. Known for iconic songs like He Stopped Loving Her Today and The Grand Tour, Jones left an imprint on the genre that's hard to ignore. Alan Jackson once said, quote, When you hear George Jones sing, you are hearing a man who takes a song and makes it a work of art, always. Indeed, George had a way of taking a simple song and turning it into an emotional journey. He could sing about heartache in The Cold Hard Truth and then have you tapping your feet to white lightning. It wasn't just his voice, but his ability to convey genuine emotion that made his songs more than just tunes. They were stories, experiences, and life lessons all rolled into one. His music could pull at your heartstrings as easily as it could get you up on your feet dancing. Whether you were walking the floor over you or finding yourself in a tender years state of mind, George had a song for every mood and moment. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite song from George Jones? Let us know in the comments section below.